Hello guys, I was going through my YouTube videos and realized that I had not made a video in a while. Uh, also went through my customs and realized that I have not shared this custom. So we'll share this one and I'll show you the build. I detail the base, the bottom. It's not a uh, full detail, but I did the exhaust and the transmission. I uh, grooved the uh, wheel where the wheel well sits, not wheel well, but the uh, axles. I detailed that, or not detailed it, but grooved it so my wheel, custom wheel axles will fit, which are right there. And then I also did the interior, put a stick shift, also added a Serapi seat cover. And then uh, did the front end. Uh, the front bumper is a custom front bumper. Uh, I cannot remember who I got it off of. It was on Instagram. But it's a 3D printed bumper. You just cut off the other front end and just super glue it on there. That's it. Nothing difficult. Pretty simple. Then uh, here's the uh, truck itself. And then I had uh, Nesto do the uh, uh decals for me peanuts custom garage and uh of course i detail the front end lights the uh, did the patina on it nesto did the uh chevrolet decals as well detail the rear and tail lights so that all came out good i'm very pleased with it and there's that okay and if you noticed while ago when i showed the back side it has two holes in it and i'll show you why here in a minute let's uh let's see if i can find the tool and uh the way i did that was with one of these hand drill bits and just mark your holes and uh put them in there and the size on that is the uh one thirty second. I don't have it because of course it's in the drill bit, the hand drill, but it's a one thirty second. So that'll help you out on them holes right there. So that's what I used right there. And uh, with a piece of styrene, I made a rear bumper for it. So there's the rear bumper, as you can see right there. And uh, that was made out of this styrene right here uh 8606 and there's the measurements for the rear bumper then i uh drilled the styrene with the same drill bit that i used for that right there as you can see i hate that it keeps on going in and out of focus but as you can see right there with those two are sticking out that's where the holes were drilled and then I went and I used some uh, let me get this right here this right here and inserted these that into the hole so you'll see whenever I start attaching everything together okay and so then for the bed I wanted a wooden bed and there's your wooden bed Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And for that, I use this wood. It's almost like you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, where else can you get it? I think Michaels. But it's like paper thin. You can see how how much flexible flexibility is in there. So that, and to attach it all together, I used a piece of sheet of. Uh, Styrene on the bottom, made my measurements, made everything done. It's not pretty on the bottom, but when you put it in there, everything's pretty squared up and pretty on point as far as uh, the measurements and being straight. And in the middle, I used small, the smallest strip of styrene and put them in between and just glued it all together. Nothing hard, it's pretty simple. And it's pretty much the styrene that I showed you previously a while ago. 
And to get everything squared away and measured and cut accurately as possible, and I think I've showed this before, but I'm gonna show it again in this video, is the, uh, the uh, what we call the chopper. And it's pretty uh, accurate on your cuts. Just put it in there and cut it. That's all it is, but right there is the blade. And you just chop it. If you got multiple cuts that need to be the same size, that is very, very helpful. So uh, I think I've explained everything that I've done so far on this custom. So uh, let's put it together. Here we go. Put the windshield in there first. The only thing I hate about these castings, and I think most of y'all can agree, is the sunroof. I have no idea why Hot Wheels decided to put a sunroof on a 62 Chevy. Don't know. But it's annoying. I hate it. But nothing I can do about it. Just customize it to my liking. Okay, and then we'll put in the uh, interior. Let's put that in there. Then let's put on the wheels. Like I said, these wheels aren't completely set in there. There we go. Okay. I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to go back in there and finish that up. And let's screw it back together. Anybody have any luck getting that RLC uh, car today? That Japanese car? I was able to snag two of them. So that was pretty cool. Okay, there we go. So there we go. We have put back together. And there it is. Okay, now that's what it looks like. Now, oh, it's crooked. Let me fix it up real quick. Well, one of these wheels is not sitting right. I bet it's that one right there. There we go. Oh man, axle fell out. I need to permanently put these in, but this is part of the issue whenever you don't put them in all the way and secure them in. But it's okay. It's part of customizing. And I've come to realize that. So. If I can get it in. There we go. So I got it back in. And. Uh, well now I don't want to cooperate. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we got it going. All right, but well, there we go. There's that right there. Now, you have that right there. Now, let's look at the impact or the difference that it makes to have a wooden bed. Huge, huge difference. Now, let's add the bumper. And most people shave bumpers off. They don't like them. They don't care for them. But every now and then, a bumper looks nice on a truck. Now, there we go. There's the difference of a bumper. And like I said, it was made out of styrene. I have not permanently put it on, but I will. And there you go. Got you a nice little custom with the bumper. And then you have the wooden bed, which makes a big difference in my opinion. So, let me what you think. Let me know what you think. I uh, let me know what you think about this cart, box car. I rusted that this yesterday. This is the I didn't do the other side, but that's the original look. And this is what it looks like on this side. 
So let me know what you think on the 62. Something different. Something that I like doing. But thanks for following. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video.